So hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Divine Rebel for part three of the new moon in Aquarius, Jupiter conjunct Venus in Aquarius event. This is secret code names. Those of you who got your secret code names and purchased one of these readings, you know what your secret code names are. For those of you who did not and are drawn to one of the secret code names, there is a message in there for you, I promise. <laughs> you would not have been drawn to it if it wasn't. So the secret code names for this part of the event are Rosemary, Virtuous Light, Purple Rose, Moonbeam, Painting Palms, and Cinnamon. All right, Rosemary, Virtuous Light, Purple Rose, Moonbeam, Painting Palms, and Cinnamon. All right, so we are going to be getting right into it. For those of you not familiar with me or the channel, I have no filter. I don't sugarcoat my messages. I just read how I read. All right, take it or leave it. You can sign off now if you don't like it. <laughs> All right, I love you. I hope you stay. These messages are hugely healing. They've been hugely healing coming through, and I hope they absolutely benefit you in the highest. So getting into secret code name Rosemary first. We are at the 1 minute and 11 second mark. All right. Secret code name Rosemary. So here we go. And the way I received the code name, I was shown like a garden of herbs and rosaries. And I thought Rosemary, right? The herb and the and the rosary. It was rosemary. So there's, and there's definitely like sacred menace, uh, medicinal magic inside rosary. If you look at the magical, magic with a K properties of rosemary, look that up. There's something sacred in the energy for you. You might want to cook with it lately. Okay. You might want to start cooking with it. So rosemary spirit. What is the chakra healing? I'm using my chakra insight oracle. What is the chakra healing that is being tuned into to heal in order to unleash their lucky stars? Secret code name Rosemary. What is the chakra healing being tuned into to release their lucky stars? What is the healing? inspiration oh, there's more we're taking that one too and choice solar plexus crown chakra and solar plexus being inspired and making choices to take the path and take the take the road you know you're getting divine downloads you're getting these synchronistic messages from spirit in order to bring the divine in you the fifth the 5d or fifth dimensional spirit part of you into the 3d realm with your choices allowing yourself to create the divine path right your highest good path keywords are ideas spark conception and impulse follow your impulse when it feels good you have the free will and the courage and the willpower to change those are the key words the divine is inspiring you to shift. And I'm hearing answering prayers. Allow yourself to be inspired in order to create the answer to your prayers. Okay. Literally bring it into form. What is the insight, spirit? What is the insight that we can give secret code name Rosemary with these healing energies? Allow yourself to do as you are guided. Another code name had this kind of message where it was like, whatever you would have me do, whatever you would have me say, wherever you would have me go, if it is in the highest good of all, so be it. Listening to that inspiration, if it is in the highest good, so be it, spirit. Whatever you would have me do, whatever you would have me say, wherever you would have me go, if it is in the highest good of all, so be it. Nine of Pentacles, the independent, self-sustaining soul. You are able... You are able to be self-sustaining and independent. You are able to be unique and authentic with the flamingo there. You are able. Inspiring you to be authentic and unique. To do as you are guided and create your self-sustainability. You're not meant to do what everybody else is doing. You're not meant to look like every other bird that looks like a lot of other birds. Like the flamingo is unique. There are no other birds that look like the flamingo. Like you are meant to, to choose a different path. You're not meant to do things the way others do things. 
You're meant to do it your own way. You're meant to create a new way. You're meant to walk down a different path than everybody else because there's a certain amount of love that you're gonna receive from the universe for the choices that you're making, that, are, that you're being guided to make. It's like allowing yourself to be a vehicle for the, the higher will, right? A medium for the higher will to manifest in the 3D. What else, spirit? What other insights can you give me to clarify this? I feel like I need to clarify this. Four of Swords. Rest and retreat. Rest and retreat and recollect your thoughts, recollect your energy. Call your soul pieces back to you. I'm hearing to call your soul pieces back to you. If people took a piece of your heart and soul with them that made you feel less than yourself, call your pieces back to you now visualize the different fragments of your soul that were lost along the way the little pieces of yourself that you gave to other people that you weren't able to give to anybody else because they took it call those soul pieces back to you now call them fragments back to you now and make yourself visualize yourself becoming whole visualize all them shards of crystalline light that create your spirit coming back to you from out there and literally reforging themselves and rebinding themselves to yourself rest and retreat recollect your energy reclaim your soul pieces my soul is mine my soul is whole affirmations right affirm it to yourself my soul is whole i reclaim my soul pieces i reclaim my soul what else the innocence of wands yeah and you will be reborn phoenix rising from the ashes that's the energy of the innocence of wands it's the phoenix rising card coming back stronger than you ever were before 717 might be a synchronicity for you that's showing up seven is a number of divine miracle and divine intervention and 17 is a card of healing 17 is also a card right here okay you might be seeing those numbers ones fours sevens your closing cycles Closing old cycles and forging a new one. This is the complete reinvention of the self coming back stronger than you ever were. If you felt burned out, feeling like all of your energy has been burned out, when you call back your soul fragments and you become whole, you reemerge from the fire. You're inspired, right? The innocence of wands is also about being inspired and hearing the call of spirit because the wands is the suit of fire, is the suit of soul, is the suit of spirit. And it's it's resonating this message, right? It's almost like uh, like radio waves or sound waves or energetic waves, you know, Wi-Fi waves. Like it's, it's this etheric wave, this message, this divine download that you're getting from spirit that's inspiring you to choose to rise getting and receiving that message from spirit. What clarifying cards can you give me, spirit, please? For secret code name, Rosemary. Innocence of cups and the heart of pentacles. Apologize to yourself for being super generous and super giving that you gave your soul to people and they took it with them. Forgive yourself for forgetting the queen of manifestation that you are. That's the queen of pentacles, the heart of pentacles. The buffalo is sacred animal medicine. You should look that up. Google buffalo spirit medicine. That's sacred medicine buffalo spirit the whale dives deep you're gonna have to be able to forgive yourself for loving like you did that you lost pieces of yourself along the way not because you shouldn't have loved like you did but because you allowed whoever you love to take a piece of you and you didn't need to do that you didn't need to lose pieces of yourself along the way reclaim your powerful spirit magic 
getting back in touch with your spiritual mana because that creates your ten of pentacles that creates your dream becoming a reality the elephant never forgets the soul never forgets the way you just need all of the pieces of your soul to come back to you and they are this is like the spirit <laughs> coming back and flowing into you because the soul doesn't forget itself the pieces of the soul that you've lost along the way does not forget who they belong to and that they're a part of you you can create and manifest the dream when you have all of yourself return to yourself and bring it into form the queen of manifestation the heart space that knows what it's deserving of and in, in, in receiving truly bottom of the deck is the judgment the resurrection of the beautiful self and the spirit of cups or the king of cups which is someone who is emotionally mature who doesn't feel like they need to possess anybody's love, who doesn't feel like they need to overflow and drain themselves to their detriment, but who knows when people are tempting them to fill a void and they're not biting. Like, oh, you have a void and you're tempting me to fill it. I love you, but I'm not biting. I'm not buying into that. If you have a void, that's for you to fill. You're not taking pieces of me to do it. You're not taking pieces of me to fill your void reclaim your soul reclaim your spirit be emotionally mature master that what is the guidance please <clears throat> spirit what is the guidance for secret code name rosemary The sacred fool card number 40 your angels are guiding you to come into your oneness your angels above and below they're guiding you and supporting you because you are not you are not just a puppet on a string for other people you are being guided and crowned by spirit who understands the journey, who understands the humor, who understands that there is a place for play and entertainment and fun. And you have to look back, look back at all that spirit did, the show that it gave you to witness because it's helping you master and crown yourself as an instrument of the divine. The feminine energy that receives, that is vulnerable in its truth, that put on a beautiful show, a beautiful show of love, a beautiful show of royal soul energy, that your soul was put on display and that you gave pieces of yourself. It's like watching, it's like watching a performance and having the performance affect you so profoundly that you don't forget the performance. You know, you were called to be the performer of a sacred play for the divine so that people could not forget you, so that people could not forget what they witnessed from you as the actor or character being called for them to witness. And now it's time for you to reclaim your whole power as that embodiment that you are a divine instrument allowing people to witness you that it would leave such an impression on them that they could never forget what they learned from the witnessing of you and your soul perform its purpose. Spirit called you to dance with it, called you to dance with the divine, and you accepted. Right again, those fours, ones, sevens, fours. What's the remember card, please, Spirit? What do they need to remember? To unlock their lucky stars, what do they need to remember? Joy. Joy, remember you delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. You are beautiful to watch. 
It was beautiful to play those roles. It brought joy to your heart to love like you did. It bring, it bring joy to your heart to give those pieces of your soul to others. You just forgot that they were a part of you and let them keep it. <laughs> Find the joy that spirit and the acknowledgement that spirit called you for such a sacred task to be an instrument of the divine. Be the best character that you can be in a world that would witness you in this divine show, this divine comedy, this divine drama, that you would bring the best character into the world for others to witness, for others to fall in love with, that you are an unforgettable part of the sacred play. Truly. I hope that helps. Like you were called to play the hero. And someone else was called to play the villain because no good show can, can be what it is when there's not a villain in the tale and a hero in the tale and the success and the love and the journey in the tale. Like if you think of a movie or, or a play like in theater, like there's always that contrast and you were called to be the hero. Don't allow yourself to be beaten or dispersed in pieces by the villain quote unquote, because they're not actually a villain. They're just a character playing that role for you to witness. So that you can, you can be in this energy, this sacred play of energy where you are an instrument of the divine. You're reinventing yourself. You're coming back the hero reborn. You know, every hero sometimes goes through their low moments where they feel like they can't beat the villain. They will never, you know, it's too hard. It's too challenging. It's like, no, but the hero always wins in the end. The hero always wins in the end. Remember who you are. Remember how much joy it brings to you to be that. And if you're facing a quote unquote villain or someone lost in their shadow, just remember that your ability to integrate all of your pieces and become whole helps. You should watch the integration lesson video on the dark mirror. <laughs> it came up before this moon just a couple days ago for a reason. I've been talking about it in multiple readings now. Remember who you are. Return all of the pieces to yourself, become whole. Watch that video watch that live it'll help you it'll help you okay moving forward virtuous light 1838 okay virtuous light and honestly when i saw and got the download for this code name i saw a nun But it was this virtuous light. So whatever the nine virtues are, whatever those virtues are, those sacred virtues, I would look them up. I would literally Google them and look them up and start embodying those things, those virtues. Because if you can maintain that virtuous light, you will literally face and conquer everything that would go against them. The quote unquote seven deadly sins and everything else that is detrimental and painful to ripple. If you can stay in the virtues, if you can stay in those virtues, you will ripple a whole different at a whole different level. Don't let anybody take you from your virtues. Okay. Spirit, please. What is the chakra healing? 
that we are tuning into for secret code name Virtuous Light so that they can unlock their lucky stars. What is the chakra healing we're focusing on that they can tune into in order to unlock their lucky stars? What is the chakra healing? Will. Will. Slow and steady wins the race. Expression, assertiveness, self-control, and direction. Do not lose control of yourself to the quote-unquote darker energies. Stay in your virtue. Express that virtue. Assert yourself in those virtues. Take that direction. Slow and steady wins the race. Be in control of yourself. Don't let others trigger you out of your light. Your virtuous light. Don't let others trigger you out of your light. If you have to speak truth, wisdom, compassion, offer forgiveness that they don't know what the hell they're doing. Forgive them for they know not what they do. God, spirit, higher self, forgive them. They, do, they know not what they do. Stay in your virtuous light. Trust. Trust your truth. Trust the truth coming out of your mouth and being expressed that you would not let them take you from your light. Throat chakra. Throat chakra. Be willing to express the truth. Even if it's painful to speak it. Even if you know speaking it would trigger them or upset them. Not because you're saying things that are malicious, but because it's fucking truth. People get angry when others speak the truth because they don't want to hear it, but it doesn't mean the truth ain't the truth. It just means they don't want to face the truth. Ding. <laughs> 22, 22, 22 on the timer. You have to be able to ascend into that oneness vibration and ripple that. What insights, please, spirit? What insights, please? For secret code name Virtuous Light and those who would be drawn to this message. They might not get it today. They might not get it tomorrow, but they will fucking get it one day. Yeah, communication. Speak it. That's the movement or the Knight of Swords. Speak the fucking truth. That's Gemini and energy. Gemini, the North Node is in there right now. Admetos is retrograding in there right now. This is the undoing of familial and ancestral karma. This is destiny's direction, right? The North Node is about destiny and it's about facing the facts. You might have to seriously rain truth bombs and make it a part of everything that you do because you're the Empress energy with the Earth Mother. And you've got all of the pieces that you need, all of the structure that you need to create a beautiful tree. You have to allow the truth and time to do its job. Again, another three. Wow, we have the 30, which is a three, the Empress, which is a three, and the three of wands, which is a three. This is three, three, three. Major synchronicities, major ascension. You have windows of opportunity as the highest divine feminine. You have windows of opportunity, light. The body, the mind, the spirit. Three, three, three. Spirit's showing you the way. When you feel guided to speak, you don't bite your tongue. You choose your words. You're not here to be sharp. 
You're not here to stab people with your words, but you're gonna you're gonna speak the fucking truth. And if they're hurt, that's because you're dredging up the hurt inside that they've been denying and shoving down that they don't want to admit to themselves. That's fine. They don't have to admit it to themselves, but you're not gonna let them lie to themselves either. What else, spirit? You have a beautiful vision that you want to create. You have a journey that you're on. And if they are not adding to the journey, if they're not helping you co-create this beautiful vision that you have, then you got to get real with them. They're stunted. You got to ask them, why, why are they in this energy where they're stunted and they're not growing? Because if you stick around them and they're not willing to grow, you're not going to either. And you've got, you've got places to do and magical things to do. What else? Seven of Swords, Two of Swords, the Naked Heart, and the Three of Cups. The Magician on the bottom, again, with this triangular energy, the sight and the vision, the journey and the vision. You're working fucking magic here three again three of swords if something's hurting you and breaking your heart to witness that is causing pain in your mind you're being guided via your ancestors with the raven here on top you're being guided by your ancestors to speak up if something is hurting your heart then you need to speak up and let yourself create the magic in your vision do not lie to yourself Sorry guys, I had a phone call interrupt all that. So hopefully we're good and we can just keep going. So I was saying, um, don't lie to yourself and think or believe that the truth is not gonna help set everybody in this circumstance free, okay? It's gonna help set you free. You being able to communicate whatever you need to communicate in order to manifest what is in the highest good of all, putting your best heart forward, can create the joy, can create the abundance, right? Don't feel like you're blinded or anchored to a situation because you can't speak up or can't say what needs to be said in order to create the change. Because the two of swords... Um, this is a, you know, typically the two of swords shows a woman who's blindfolded and, you know, the two swords are across her chest and it's almost like not letting the truth come out from a loving place, not knowing which choice to make because all the choices seem bad and you've got to bank on the truth to serve, you know, put your best heart forward. Put your best heart forward if you have not watched. <laughs> if you have not watched the integration lesson on the dark mirror. <laughs> I'm linking it in the description. Everybody needs to watch that because the truth needs to come out from a loving place. If someone is hurting you in any way with their actions, no matter what it is they're choosing, whatever it is pain-wise that they're putting on you, you need to be able to reclaim your truth and reclaim your ability to create joy because you can absolutely do that. You have to have the will to express yourself from a place of, you know, that assertiveness. You need to be able to say, my truth matters. My truth matters. And control the direction that it's going. Because if you can keep that love energy within yourself, that creation energy within yourself, and hold the vision that comes from this pure heart, you can create a lot of joy as things unfold. Okay? What is the guidance card, Spirit? What is the guidance card for secret code name? Virtuous Light. What guidance would you have them receive with this message? Unlocking their lucky stars. Yeah, come to life. Come to life. Bring the color back. Bring the life back into yourself. Claim your individuality and who you are. I 
feel like she's pa she's painting herself with this golden liquid that the monkey's holding. And again, the raven. The raven is there on her shoulder. Your ancestors are guiding you to come to life. Card number 43. This is about your angels guiding you, your ancestors guiding you into this ascended energy. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. You know, I'm being drawn to the black and white checks in the back. Like you're playing chess. You're playing chess with different players that are trying to take your pieces off the board and you've got to checkmate that shit. You've got to be able to see the steps that you can take in order to put them in checkmate. Like, I'm sorry, you are not winning this, right? You are not allowing whatever needs to be said to not be said. You are not going to get this over on me. You're not going to take my most valuable pieces. I'm not going to lose things or people or joy in my life because my truth is being stolen and someone is trying to, you know, argue with me or go head to head with me and put me in this situation where I can only make bad choices, choices that don't resonate. Let the fucking truth rip. Let the truth rip. Allow yourself to transform. Allow yourself to fly. Allow these monkey-minded people to show you the value of yourself when you light up and come to life when it's not so black and white and gray and fucking depressing. You know what I mean? Let your truth speak. You got a beautiful heart, let it receive. Let it receive the beauty that it is. Don't accept less from people. If they can be better than, and, and them not being better is putting a certain amount of weight on you or a certain amount of emotional or spiritual pressure on you to keep things in, don't. Them being in a black and white and gray place or sad place does not give them the right or you the excuse to not address that energy. That energy cannot persist. What's the reminder, spirit? <clears throat> What's the reminder? Yeah, transformation. This is your transformation from black and white and gray scale to fucking color. Remember, you use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness, ascension energy. This is where you get to transform. Watch that integration lesson live about the dark mirror. This is where you get to transform. You get to bring that power of love into the situation to get through the illusions and the subconscious that are manifesting bullshit from people. They believe it's okay to act this way or project this way or feel this way or be lost in whatever energy they're in. And you're like, no, because that subconscious bullshit is literally bleeding out and rippling on me. I don't like it. I don't like it. It doesn't feel good. It's not right. It's not fair. It's not fair to put your pain on me. It's not fair to put your subconscious beliefs about yourself and what you can or can't create on me like I'm stuck in the same energy. Remember transformation. The power of love transforms things. Keep your heart at 100%. Keep your heart at 100%. Secret code name, Virtuous Light. I hope that helps. I hope that helps. Bring the color back into yourself. Bring the life back into yourself. People are so draining. They are not allowed. They are not allowed to drain like that. And they stop when we make them stop. <laughs> we tell them no mas, <laughs> no mas. You cannot drain and put your shit on me like this anymore. You're causing me stress, You're causing me to worry about you, causing me to feel helpless, like I can't fucking help you. That's enough. That's enough. I'm not doing it anymore. Come into my life with some fucking positivity or leave it at the door. Leave it at the door. <clears throat> okay. Secret code name purple. Rose. 
All right. Secret code name Purple Rose. Here we go. Spirit, please. <laughs> I say, what is the chakra energy we're highlighting here? Action. Root chakra. Why do I feel like there's another one in here? Right off the top. Base chakra. Still root chakra. <laughs> Somebody else had these exact two cards in a whole nother live. So listen. <laughs> It's time for you to be fearless. The root chakra deals in the vibration of fear versus trust. Okay. The need to control versus surrender. This is what the root chakra deals in. You've got to be able to make the choices that create the mood and make the moves to and, and choose to persevere, discipline yourself and motivate yourself. You got to be able to dance with the divine a little bit. Let the divine take the wheel. Release control. If, you, if you're getting met with resistance, it's not meant to happen the way you are trying to make it work. If it's meant to happen, the divine has a better, more effective and efficient way to do it. It's asking you to dance. If it's not in flow, it's, if it's not in vibration with your soul song, then you gotta trust that alignment. You have to be able to trust your intuitive sensing. You have to be able to trust that spirit has your back. And if it's not working out, it's not working out for a reason. You'd be hurt to continue to pursue it that way, right? You would end up hurt by someone or something or some circumstance if you were conti to continue to fight resistance, you're gonna tire yourself out. Dance with the divine. <clears throat> Dance with the divine. Like purple rose, if you just think about this uh, symbolism behind roses is loving energy and purple is a divine color. It's the color of the crown chakra where divinity communicates with us and connects with us right through the crown. The universe is asking you to let it love you. Let it love you. Let it guide you. Dance with the universe. Dance with the divine. Let it take you where you need to be. Don't try and tell the divine you need to be a certain place, a certain way with certain people. Like, let that whole premise go out the window and just start dancing. You know, it's this recurring mantra of, you know, talking to spirit, whatever you would have me do, whatever you would have me say, wherever you would have me go. If it is in the highest good of all, so be it. Because you trust the divine. You trust your higher self, right? You trust yourself. Whatever you would have me do, wherever you would have me go, whatever you would have me say, if it's in the highest good of all, so be it. So be it. Go with the flow. Don't resist. Give me some insight, please, spirit. Give me some insight. Secret code name, Purple Rose. How do we unlock their lucky stars? <laughs> go with the flow. How do we unlock their lucky stars? What insight can you give us, please? And we got a lot of people here. We got an Innocence of Cups, a Heart of Swords, or Queen of Swords, a Heart of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and the Spirit of Pentacles, which is the King of Pentacles. Okay. You might have, because the innocence can sometimes represent children or people younger than you or people more immature than you are. This is someone who is emotionally immature, who is give, being given an opportunity for growth. This is a deep soulmate, someone that you've probably known in past lives because the whales in this deck represent the deep connections that we have below the surface. You might have a sacred soulmate in your life that is bringing up past issues that might be dealing with, you know, um, things that you went through as a mother or, or with your mother or your father. This has been a reoccurring theme with, with this alignment, this new moon. Um, <clears throat> you might need to ask yourself, Where did my parents stunt or try and sway me from my authentic light by telling me to do something that wasn't in alignment with me? 
telling me I was better off if I was doing something that wasn't in alignment with me, that I got used to the habit of taking actions out of alignment because I was afraid. Afraid that if I followed my authenticity, afraid if I trusted myself that I wouldn't thrive, that I took their advice instead. How you're projecting that onto maybe someone else. Wow, my ear is ringing. You've got to be able to speak truth from your heart space. Like whoever this innocence of cups is, you've got to be able to talk to them as if they were you in your childlike form needing to hear what your parents should have said to you instead. If your parents, for instance, said like, no, you can't be that. That's not going to make you enough money. You should be doing this instead. Like what they should have said is if that's where your passion is, if that's where you're being guided in your actions to take, let's, let's do it. Let's do it, right? Let's see what comes of that. Because if that's where you're going to be happy, let's do that. You know, it's about talking to the, the people in your life that are having this opportunity to grow and helping them grow. This is about resurrecting an old issue and transforming it with the judgment card clarifying it. They're bringing up an old issue for you to heal by being better. Being better than was given to you. Offering better than what was offered you. The heart of swords with the with the heart of pentacles, the double queens. This is and they're both facing the future, right? They're going through this energy that that's really sacred, like the jaguar. The jaguar with all of these feathers. These are like turkey feathers and there's little like butterflies on the tips of each one. This is a I'm getting like a deep harvesting of the truth a deep harvesting of the truth and to transform it and become what was the once cold and calculating, logical reasoning type of maternal energy and turning it into the gregarious, generous, you know, everything is possible, um, manifesting machine of a heart, right? The queen of, of, of pentacles is a manifesting machine. She knows how to receive everything that she's ever wanted from the experience. You're teaching them that they can receive whatever they want from the experience. The magician card is magic and you realize that your whole reality shifts because when you master the pentacles energy and you're in the king of pentacles energy, you become almost like the breadwinner you become the one that has all of the power over the reality because you're creating from a place of magic within. You're using your intelligence. You're using what you have at your disposal. You're using the, the heart that cares. You're using your soul fire and putting them all together to create a reality that you have mastered. That you have mastered. If you start doing as you are guided... You start taking your own best advice that you would offer anybody and start projecting your best advice and embodying that. It's one thing to talk about the ideal. It's another thing to embody the ideal. Once you hit that, the vision takes off the light of your vision because you can see the rays coming from beyond and behind the eye. You can see just how warm that creation energy is, this orangey hue. This is creation energy. This is seeing how maybe your life would have been different if you were guided differently. And allowing someone to direct their life from a, and, and come for them from a balanced place because this deep harvesting of the self, it's like allowing someone to live their dreams and knowing that you are the one that enabled them to live it. The reward of that. The reward of that. And whoever this person grows into and matures into as they will are going to have deep, deep emotions of gratitude for the type of person that you, that you were as opposed to who you could have been. As opposed to who you could have been. That you would be better. Yeah, don't feel, don't feel like it's a hard choice. 
Don't get stuck in your mind about things. Don't get, you know, feel like you don't have any better options or talk to them like they don't have better options and put them in the mental prison where they can't love themselves. You know, you might have to have this talk with you, your own self on, on the inside and be like, you know what? I can create my dreams. I can create my highest vision. Even if my highest vision now is not the same as my highest vision was then, the truth of the matter is if I want to create it and I want to pursue it and I want to do it and make it manifest, I can. And I feel like you are not alone. I feel like you are not alone in that kind of support. I think when you jump on board with this beautiful queen of hearts or queen of pentacles energy that cares an awful lot, especially with the roses on the card, right? Love energy, roses on the card, love energy. Keep that in mind. You might be getting synchronicities with roses because it does show up twice. I think someone is gonna absolutely join you in your pursuit of what is beautiful to experience and witness. Because it's that kind of important. It's that kind of important that you're allowed to thrive. It's that kind of important that you're allowed to call shots in your life and how you think from your heart space. Thinking from your heart space. <clears throat> Spirit, what's the guidance for Purple Rose? What's the guidance? Yeah, trust your inner self. Trust your inner self. Really, we got card number one, card number two, and card number three. Get in touch with that fear override that trust, that release of control. It doesn't have to turn out or work out the way you thought or hoped it would. It can be something completely different. Trust your inner self and allow the universe to take actions on your behalf to make your life easy. There's an easy way and a hard way and resistance is definitely the fucking hard way. Allow things to flow. Allow things to flow. If you are dealing with a bunch of different people, you got to trust your ability to, one, deal with them and handle them and handle yourself in their presence to, that you have yourself under control. You might not be able to control them and what they're doing or what they're saying, but you have control over yourself and you have the discipline and the motivation to trust in spirit. And if you need to move, you need to move. If you need to persevere through it, you could persevere through it. Like trust your inner guidance. Whatever you would have me do, say, go. If it's in the highest good, so be it. Trust your heart space. All of this strong feminine energy. Allow yourself to receive and take the right actions. You'll know what to do. You'll know what to do in order to master the manifestation of your reality, for sure. Steps, one, one step at a time, like one, two, three, one step at a time. All right, Spirit, what is the remember? What is the remember card <clears throat> that will help them with this? What do they need to remember? Present. Stay in the present. Fuck the past. Whatever you learned in the past, it doesn't fucking matter. All that matters is your perspective and your trust now in the present to do the right thing. If nobody taught you how to trust, now is the time that you're learning how to trust. It says, remember, you live in the moment, are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. You can bring love into a situation where love might not have been given prior. Just by having that awareness, I need to bring love into it. If I were giving my child advice, my child self advice, how would I guide them? Bring that into the present. Bring your present knowledge to your past self and allow it to heal things in others in the present. There is no time better than the present. Allow yourself to get deep. 
allow yourself to sympathize and apologize where necessary. If you need to be corrected or you misunderstood someone or you didn't understand their perspective, that's fine. You can shift and bring love into the situation. You don't need to stubbornly stay stuck just because you learned that when you're wrong and someone tells you that you're wrong and you know that you're wrong or they knew that they were wrong when you were telling them they were wrong and they denied it anyway. Like that's not okay. Like you're bringing in your awareness of what is intrinsically right to the now moment and letting whatever was faulty in the past that you learned go like we're not acting from fear anymore we're acting from trust and surrender like you can take the horse to water but you can't make a drink that's fine if the horse isn't thirsty fine it's not meant to be thirsty right now maybe it'll be thirsty later either way the horse is here And if you got to go on the journey and the horse never took their drink of water and they start to, you know, dehydrate and, and start to want to kill the fuck over, well, then I guess the horse ran out of energy and it should have fucking listened. You got to keep going without your horse then. It's just the way it worked out. Trust spirit. Then you got to keep going without the fucking horse because the horse was going to start slowing you down and becoming a, a waste of your energy to try and pick up. You can't. <laughs> you can't pick up the horse you can't beat the horse you know what I mean and get it moving like it would have it would have become an energy drain because they refuse to listen everything happens for a reason let the divine figure out how all that shit goes down you just trust that moving forward and persevering is the right direction and if someone starts falling behind or they become an energetic weight you got to cut them loose you got to cut them loose and that's okay. The love didn't go anywhere, but there's different forms of love. There's love of others, love of self and how that works together. And you got to teach people it's not okay to hold others back. It's not okay to hold anybody else back. It wasn't okay when anybody held you back. It's not going to be okay if you try and hold anybody else back. Listen to spirit. Listen to your higher self. Allow yourself to get the divine downloads. What's the remember card, please, spirit? For secret code name, purple rose. Anytime you see a purple rose, even if it's in a little picture on your feet on Facebook or some shit, like, just know you're being reminded of this message. Yeah, we got respect and unity. Respect everyone's unique perspective on the path to love and understand that the love you share with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. We're all one. We're all teaching each other's each other lessons. If someone else has a different point of view or a different opinion and they don't want to listen, that's fine. Their perspective is going to serve their healing. You offering that your perspective is going to serve their healing. You understanding their perspective and where it ends up getting them is going to serve your healing. The advice you'd give them, make sure you're taking your own advice. It will serve your healing. Especially if you have to apply it to them. We're all one here. Learning how to trust, learning how to connect to our higher self. Okay? Truly. All right. Moving forward. Next secret code name is Moonbeams. All right, Moonbeams. And when I got the synchronistic... Um, message for this code name like the what the code name was i literally saw a big super bright super uber bright full moon that was reflecting what looked like a beam of light down like if the sun hits the moon and makes the moon look full the moon was shining it almost like a mirror almost like a mirror would reflect light in a in a beam it was kind of like that so i'm really curious to see how this energy manifest your lucky stars right how your lucky stars manifest between now and the full moon between now and the full moon it'll be very interesting this is about focused light focused light if the sun is too bright to look at that it's hard to focus and see where the light is shining then use the moon as your guide to focus the light on a very specific area in the dark 
that needs to be recognized. Okay. Spirit, please. What is the chakra energy that we are tuning into that is healing in order to unlock these lucky stars? What is the chakra healing? Choice and possessions. Solar plexus chakra, root chakra. Free will, courage, willpower, and change. Belongings, finances, assets, and treasure. What's really, I'm hearing what's really important. 17 and 7. What's really important? What's worth fighting over and what is worth just saying fuck it and moving on from because it can be replaced? What's worth holding on to and what is worth letting yourself grow from? That you would grow without it. What possession could you choose to bring into your life that would help you grow? What was withheld from you that would have aided you in your path that you need to create for yourself to make your life easier? Including modes of transportation, just because I'm, I'm getting really pinged to this idea of the dark horse being a vehicle. Like if you need to fix your vehicle or get a new vehicle, like focus on your things and the value of your things and know that it reflects on you. Like how you treat your things reflects how you treat yourself. If you do not value your things and keep them nice, you're also not necessarily valuing yourself or keeping yourself nice in your own energy. Surrounding yourself with chaos. Chaotic experiences, chaotic environments, chaotic people, because you're chaotic within the self. You gotta get yourself organized. You gotta get yourself on path. You gotta choose to rise out of the dark horse energy where People look at you like maybe you're always destined to lose. Like, no. You can manifest a lot of shit. This is about choosing your power. The courage to change, willpower. You've got to become driven. You've got to bring forth the stamina You've got to be able to stay grounded and set goals, achievable goals. If you want to improve the quality of your life, then you have to be able to, to persevere and create, create your ability to have assets to be an asset for someone else. You know, a great example, like let's just say you do tend to be messy. Is it really an asset to your partner if you wanna be with someone? Is it an asset to your partner that you would be messy? They're gonna view it as a fault, right? It's, it's not an asset, it's a fault. This is about changing, the courage to change because you want to become the asset You want to bring something positive to the table that's not loaded with chaos. You got to focus your energy. Focus on your strengths. Shine light in your darkness and ask yourself who created or who helped you with the understanding or belief 
that you can't be better or that you can't be more organized or that you will always be this way and you will never change because people never change. Like who taught you that? Because it's incorrect. You know what I mean? Of course people can change. Of course people can improve. Of course people can grow. I mean, God knows I help people do it for a living. You know what I mean? Of course you can change. Of course you can choose better. Of course you can become an asset in someone's life. Of course they can become an asset in your life and bring in the things that you're lacking because you're bringing forward the things that maybe they need and that they were lacking. Your future is what you make it. You'll attract the people on your own vibration. If your vibration is low and chaotic, you're going to attract low and chaotic people. If your energy becomes controlled within yourself and organized and you know how to carry yourself and carry your environment and how you want to portray yourself in a higher light, you're going to be attracting higher light types of people. People that are in control of themselves. Ace of Cups. Give me some more insight, please, Spirit. Secret code name Moonbeam. I'm also hearing people are not possessions. You do not own them. You got to bring your best cup of love forward from the deep and start trusting. You treat someone like they're a possession and you own them, you will absolutely lose them. You'll lose them. We don't own people. And you'll, you'll realize that with the tower card. No one's beholden to you. No one has to listen to you or do what you want them to do just because you want them to do it and it would make your life easier. You gotta learn to do it. Judgments on the bottom, yeah. Because I feel like you might have had examples from your parents, like this, this is the resurrection of family issues that needs to transform. If your parents were possessive, whether it was your father to your mother or your mother to your father or your mother was possessive of you as children, like whatever it was that you learned possession was acceptable, it's not. You want to achieve the Ten of Cups. You want to achieve the bliss state. That's what you want. That's what's on your conscious mind. You want to feel full, but you can't feel full if you're trying to pull someone else's energy in order to fill you. It's only a matter of time before you go back and have to look at this stuff. Because no matter how much love you put out there for someone else, if you're putting out that kind of love so that they have to do what you say, so that they listen to you, so that you don't get hurt, it's only a matter of time before the universe comes in and something happens to break it apart and you're going backwards. Going backwards into emotional unfulfillment. Going back into a confused state where you don't know what to do. And maybe you take financial hits every time you do that. Every time you split with a partner. Every time you split with a roommate. You know, every time you split with someone, there's a financial hit. Pay attention to your Mars placement. Especially if it's being aspected right now or is going to be in the future. Like if you want to unlock your lucky stars, you're going to have to heal that. Uh, Mars, you might also want to pay attention to your scorpionic energy and your Aryan energy, what houses they rule, especially your scorpionic energy because we just have multiple cups here. We have, you know, a cup on, cups on the top of the deck. Keep that in mind. And the judgment card is a Scorpionic card. So, and Scorpio in its shadow is possessive. Scorpio is possessive. Like you are mine and no one else's. So be aware of that mentality. If you were taught that being possessive was okay or attractive, you learned incorrectly. Forgive whoever taught you that. Wherever you picked it up from, learned it from, that that's how you treat people that you love because it is incorrect. You will take loss after loss with that mindset. You will literally lose love. The symbol for Venus is right here and it's in reverse. <laughs> you will lose. You have to be independent, right? Shed codependency. 
shed codependency. Whatever your moon sign is too, because secret code, code name Moonbeam, wherever your, your moon placement is, every sign in the zodiac has a light attribute list and a shadow attribute list. You know, wherever your moon sign is, you have to look at those shadow attributes and tell yourself you can't be those shadows anymore. You cannot be in those shadow attributes anymore. Because if you can make a huge shift and tell yourself definitively that you will choose never to go back into those shadows, you will start avoiding these towers and you will start to become the asset. You will start to be the one that people value and consider by default. You will start to manifest what you wanted other people to be the whole time without forcing it on them. They'll do it naturally. You gotta be able to go deep. You gotta be able to go deep. Love will always come forward in the right time. The ideal can become the reality. The reality can become ideal. You don't have to fight that one is not the other. If you're fighting that your reality is not ideal, then you're already on a losing train. If you are living in la la land and you're not paying attention to your reality and, and the hand you have in it, then you're already on a losing train. We got against the grain and collaborative dreaming. Going against the grain is a rebel energy. Like you truly do have to be able to co-create your dreams with another allow your light attributes to guide you don't dip into your shadows go back into your childhood woundings if it hurt you to witness it don't recreate it now with other people you have to be able to be vulnerable and be able to because this is not swimming up the stream against the grain is about flowing with it Everybody tries to swim upstream, but against the grain is about flowing. You've got to let people be themselves. You can't be afraid that they're going to be a version you don't like. The only reason they would become a version that you don't like is because you don't like the version that you are and they're just simply being your mirror. Because if you don't like who they are, there are certain aspects about yourself that you don't like and you got to dive deep and you got to start to switch it and change it and bring peace to it. really start to understand the mirror and how it works. If other people, if you're getting met with resistance, it's because you're resisting your better self. You're resisting your better version and you're staying attached to the past. Allow yourself to dream of a beautiful life with someone who is there is authentic you're not trying to change them and they're not trying to change you you're lovable the way you are because you are your best versions if you feel the need to change someone either you're not ready for the dynamic the relationship or the dynamic or or they're not ready to be with you and you would put each other through unnecessary pain <clears throat> you need to be able to let someone be free just like you need to let yourself be free free from whatever this ancestral shit is. You gotta be able to have that confidence in making your own choices and going down your own path and not the same path someone else already went down. What's the remember card, please, spirit? What is the remember card? For secret code name, Moonbeam. Yeah, loyalty and cooperation. Your reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion and consistently consistency of being. You have to be able to demonstrate that your love is consistent. You can't love them one day and hate them the next day because they're the same person every day. They're the same person. They are just who they are. But if you're not the same person every day and your love is not consistent, that's a problem. You're not loyal to them then. You're loyal to your pain. This is heart, heart chakra healing. In cooperation, remember, in your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person and experience has a value. Every time you're met with resistance, you got to ask yourself, how am I resisting my better self? 
How am I resisting giving love to this person? How am I not putting my best self forward? How am I not being their asset? How am I being their detriment instead of their asset? They're being frustrated with me. There's nothing wrong with them. They are who they are and I love them for who they are. So how am I being a detriment instead of an asset? How am I at fault? Where are my flaws coming out that I learned from my past that I need to stop and put the brakes on so that I can cooperate with them and not fight with them, right? Collaborative dreaming, cooperation. Like you need to be able to build with someone. Like no one's fucking perfect, but if you love someone and they love you and you're, you're meeting them with resistance or they're meeting you with resistance and you got a Molotov cocktail for disaster and spirit's gonna come in and be like, yo, you are causing way too much pain for each other. You're not ready for this. You got to be reliably loyal in your love and consistency of being. If you love them, be consistent in loving them, no matter what kind of day they're having. Be the asset. Be the asset, because if you're an asset to them, they don't want to lose their asset. They don't want to lose what's helping their life be better. But if you're making their life harder, people are going to stop giving a fuck if they lose you or not. You're making their life harder. You're not an asset then, right? If someone were making your life harder every fucking day, would you not deuces? Bye, you're making my life hard. Bye, you're telling me who to be and how to be and when to be, like bye. You would do the same thing. <laughs> you don't wanna be controlled. You don't wanna be nagged. You don't wanna be denied love. You don't. If someone were treating you that way, you'd be out. So if you treat other people that way, they're gonna be out. Bye. Like, I love you, you meant a lot to me, but no different than you would. I love you, you meant a lot to me, but you're not an asset in my life. You're not making it better. You're giving me a hard time. You got to be able to cooperate with someone and build with someone and not give them a hard time. And if someone is giving you a fucking hard time, maybe it's time to say out. They're trying to control you, tell you how to be. You got to be out. But if you want to create the, rea the, the reality becoming the ideal, if you have this beautiful vision of all the things that you can create, you got to choose the highest path and become the asset. You gotta become the asset. All right. Next secret code name, painting palms. All right, painting palms. Now, when I got the visual for this secret code name, painting palms, you might think like painting and hands and things like that, but I got painting palms like palm trees. Actually paintings of palms and it was almost like silhouettes like black palms with a sunset in the back or a sunrise in the back and then painting the dark shadow of the silhouette of the palms which would be a super easy painting to create you know what i mean if, if you did actually want to, to paint palms i because i mean i was guided to it for a reason but painting sunsets and sunrises is, is simple and then just painting the black silhouettes is easy, right? And that could be something that could be super creative and lucrative at the same time, you know? So getting into it, spirit please, unlocking the lucky stars. Yeah, you have a responsibility to creativity. Wow, and they just flew out. Solar plexus chakra and throat chakra. Now the throat chakra, if you think about the alignment of the throat, if you put your arms out from side to side like this, they're in alignment with your throat. They create truth. They're extensions of the throat chakra. Your hands and your ability to create, you have an, a responsibility to create. Your solar plexus is your confidence and courage. And the throat chakra is your ability to manifest and bring it into form. To allow the truth of your soul to come through you, whether it's via words or actions, things that you create with your hands. Keywords are self-discipline, empowerment, 
reliability and fulfillment, that you are disciplined enough in your ability to empower yourself, that you can rely on yourself for your own fulfillment. We also have imagination, expression, originality, and passion. It's innately you and true to you. Your ability to create it in your mind and bring it into form, to express it via your words or your actions. Your originality, your twist on things. Maybe you don't paint a sunset like everybody else does. Maybe you paint spirals and swirls and shit. Maybe your sunset or your sky in the background is something completely extraordinary and the silhouettes of the palms are in front. You know, like make it original. Become passionate about it because no one else is doing it. You are. You're doing it special. You're doing it authentic. Trust and believe in yourself. You have a responsibility to grow in your reality. If things feel stunted, take the seed and start growing something so that it changes your reality. You need a boost, this is the boost. Allow yourself to plant a seed and grow it, bring it into form. Bring it into form. Secret codename painting palms. Spirit, please give me some more insight for them. How do they unlock their lucky stars? What do they need to know? What insights do they need to receive? Yeah, the magician. You're working your magic. Movement of swords. That's that communication, right? This communication kind of energy, that creative energy. Things that are written, spoken, painted, like for real. You've got a magical vision. Get it on a fucking canvas. <laughs> and don't even don't even put it on a canvas. Maybe you actually get a piece of wood or something completely different as a medium to paint on. Everybody's paintings are on canvas, so you're gonna paint it on something completely different. Whatever it is. But allow the communication with the creative energy, the communication with the creative energy to be had. Work your fucking magic. Grow. Allow that seed to grow into the beauty of the rose, right? You can do this. Mercurial energy, Gemini and energy. See where your Mercury is in your chart and what is in your house of Gemini or what house Gemini rules, because that's where you gotta focus. If your house of Gemini is completely empty, then you know you need to fill it yourself. You know you need to fill it yourself. You need to face the reality and you need to be able to do it on your own. If you need to create something to better your life, that's on you to do it. You gotta face the facts. You gotta face the facts that you could be doing more than you're doing and having fun doing it and being creative doing it. But if you need to be doing more than you're, what you're doing and you know it, like you gotta, you gotta put the fire under your ass. You gotta allow the magic to work itself from within you, you know, and manifest. Allow your magic to manifest. What else, spirit, please? Secret code name, painting palms. Don't get defensive. If you've been getting defensive or feeling the need to explain yourself to people, to validate yourself or your choices, making excuses, getting mad at people, trust me, if you're getting mad at someone else, it's because they're speaking a certain amount of truth and you're rejecting the truth. It doesn't change the fact that it's the truth. If you're getting mad, it's because there's some kind of truth you're not willing to accept responsibility for.
especially when it comes to your responsibility with family and growing your family tree and allowing them to see how you grow and how they can grow. So of being strong and putting your ego and your pride aside and start really letting your light, right? Because this lion, it, it's linked to Leo energy, which is ruled by the sun. And the sun is always indicative of the solar plexus chakra, right? We're connecting dots here. We got multiple lions. You have to be regal in your energy. You have to be an angel in your world. You have to be able to ripple. The movement of wands is the knight of wands. You need to be able to allow your soul fire to create the ripple, your spark to create the ripple, to show others how you pick yourself up and how it's done and how you reclaim your life and how you create better. You got to face your moon. You got to face your moon. This was face down, which means you're not looking at your moon. You're not looking at the shadow attributes of your moon sign and healing them. This also deals with Venusian energy and Piscean energy. So you might want to see how they play a role in your chart. This is capping your light. Whatever these moon shadows are that you're refusing to look at, it is capping your light from manifesting and you've got to face them and address them. False beliefs about love and creation and the beauty of creation. Also childhood wounds, subconscious beliefs. It's like who taught you? Who taught you that making excuses is okay? Who taught you that roaring at people trying to help you is okay? People who are trying to advise you and give you the truth that you're obviously having a hard time facing and dealing with. Who told you that that was okay and that you can't listen? Who taught you that? Who taught you that it was okay to hear the truth and roar at them and deny the truth? Who taught you it was acceptable to cap yourself and stunt your growth when you had a responsibility to grow and they had a responsibility to grow? Who did you speak truth to and try and help that they roared at you and got angry and you learned that was okay? It's not okay. Not okay. What is the guidance card spirit, please? For secret code name, painting palms. Yeah, you've got a responsibility to improve. Yeah, dream a beautiful dream and inspire. You've got to be able to dream it here and allow yourself to be inspired and bring it out into fruition. Card number 19, card number three. You got to be able to close that cycle. You're being called to close that cycle and allow yourself to dream bigger. Maybe you stopped dreaming. Maybe you stopped believing in the achievement of your dreams. Maybe you forgot that life is sweet with all these honeybees on there. Maybe you forgot how to create your own sweetness. Maybe you need to be inspired and inspire others. Maybe you need to find your inner beauty, the beauty in your subconscious, the things that you can create with what you believe and, and bring them into form. Don't forget that life is sweet. And when you're in a great mood, it ripples to others and others are in a great mood being around you and they wanna be around you more often. They want more of that beautiful energy. It ripples to everybody, especially because I'm getting like World Wide Web. You can even, if you were to do paintings or something creative like that, you can sell them online, especially if they're easy and, and in price, of, you know, efficient for you to create. And you can make decent money just with something you're having fun with. Just because you're having fun and you can make money. <laughs> Allow yourself to be in that plenty vibration, that miracle mindset vibration, that solution oriented vibration. You know, we're not focusing on problems. We're focusing on solutions. And there's a huge difference in what those manifest. What's the remember card spirit? <laughs> what do they need to remember? 
secret code name painting palms. What do they need to remember? Satisfaction. You let the, the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. Remember satisfaction. You create that for yourself. You got to be able to approve of yourself. If your life is not where you want it to be and you're not approving of your life, then you are not approval of the version of self you're putting forward that created it. You need to be able to love and approve of yourself. If you are not satisfied with your life or your reality, then you are not satisfied in spirit with the person you're putting out there and the energy you're putting out there. It is unsatisfactory. You need to be able to create a version of yourself that you're satisfied with, that you can approve of yourself, that nobody would be able to bring you down and say you're not doing enough because you know damn right well you are. They can't take you down. They can't get you upset. You're not getting angry. Their mistake. But if you're getting angry, it's because they're telling you the truth and you really aren't satisfied with yourself or you wouldn't be manifesting that conversation. A part of you is upset with yourself if you're getting upset with others because you're not creating what you need to create with the energy you need to be in. Allow yourself to be inspired. Truth, right? Allow yourself to be inspired and create. Put the fire under your ass and start rippling that positive energy. Pull yourself out of the lows. Dream a beautiful dream and create it so that you can love and approve of yourself. Let loving energy guide you so that others no longer define you because others will define you as lazy, will define you as not enough, will define you as this or that. And others will continue to define you and project your inner energy at you until you approve of yourself. Then you're creating the projection that you want to hear. You're creating this self-approval and it'll reflect back to you as approval. It's how it works. It's how it works. You can't be stunted. You can't be stunted especially if your family has been trying to reach out to you because the family dynamic is struggling or it's not flourishing like it should. If you're not, if you, if the family is not seeing the results or the connection or the closeness that they have in their greatest vision and anybody's greatest vision of their family, everybody's always together. Everybody's always happy. We're always celebrating and eating meals together and coming over every once in a while and enjoying each other's conversation. And if that's not the reality, but that's the highest vision, you got to shift. You got to shift because that beautiful vision, that beautiful dream can't come to fruition with bullshit energy. It's not going to come to fruition with excuses. It's not going to come to fruition with defensiveness of negative behavior and negative choices that are not creating what you need them to create. It's not in alignment with that beautiful dream. So get creative. All right, secret code name, Cinnamon. Okay, here we go. Secret code name, Cinnamon. Spirit, please. What is the chakra healing that's being tuned into in order to heal their lucky stars? What is the chakra energy being tuned into in order to heal and bring forth their lucky stars. What can they tune into? Choice and grounding. Root chakra, solar plexus chakra. Choosing the path of grounding. Which is funny because cinnamon is a root chakra spice. Cinnamon is very protective and it's linked to money and stability in the reality, which is where the root chakra rules. Okay, so you might want to put a little bit of cinnamon in your coffee. <laughs> Every day, get that cinnamon vibration in there, right? 
figure out a way to incorporate that that medicine, right? That spirit medicine. You gotta have the free will, the courage, the willpower to change. Those are the keywords on this card. You have to come back from the bottom and get back into your nature, establishing your presence and being practical in your stability. Not living beyond your means. Staying grounded. Staying calm. Allowing yourself to reestablish roots that are solid. I feel like your masculine energy within the self, and maybe that's being projected at you and mirroring from your outer experience, the masculine energy is tired. And maybe you're trying to control things too much with your behavior. Like maybe you maybe you want to move and you can't because the money's not there. Well, why is the money not there? Whose choices created that problem? You know what I mean? You got to be able to change and choose a new path. You got to allow your heart to run the show and let what you feel that you want to achieve be the priority. Tell the mind that is tiring itself out with all the choices it's making, all the actions it's taking to fucking chill. Slow down, take a break. Allow your heart to drive. And stop thinking you, you need this or need that. Whether it's people, place, uh, things, it doesn't matter. You wish you had this, you wish you had that. You wish they could be this, you wish they could be that. You gotta understand how your choices are manifesting in the reality. You know, it's kind of like my mother always wanted really nice things. And so she spent herself into an oblivion of debt. And then when they finally had everything they wanted, they had to sell it all. Because they couldn't afford to keep their lifestyle. You got to be able to slow down so that everything you have, you're not forced to lose later. Like my dad retired in Social Security and his pension that got cut in half did not cut it. They couldn't keep their home. They couldn't keep all the things that they filled it with. They downsized big time. So it's like understand how your choices today are going to manifest your future tomorrow. And if you're in a place of fear and not being enough or having enough um, or feeling like you're trying to be above something or someone else or proving something like whatever that is that energy is that you're seeing someone else take off and soar and fly and you're not like it's because you're making certain choices that are keeping you from making progress and it's almost like spirits telling you until things change i can't let you progress or i'm gonna have to crash it on you later You have the ability to choose now to shift because I feel like it's not too late. Maybe that's the lucky stars. Maybe that's the part of the lucky stars that you're receiving. Your ability to stay grounded and stable and practical. It has to be practical. If it doesn't have a practical function, what the fuck are you buying it for right now? And you know what I mean? Think about your stability. Think practical. Get back into the nature of who you are and the things you like to do that are not putting yourself in a detrimental position where you can't move when you need to move, that you have no budge room. Maybe you also need to go outside and literally ground more and allow the old energy to move through your body, down through your legs and out your feet and into the earth so that you could be clear. Maybe you've taken on the energy of other people for too long. That their instability and their presence and their nature is also in alignment with what you were just, you know, mirroring. And in order for them to shift, you have to shift first. Like you're going to have to lead by example. You're going to have to become stable and practical if you want others to become practical. 
and become stable in their own energy that you can trust them and depend on them and you're not always having to feel like you need to be in control and dictating how life turns out with your own choices and actions whether you realize that or not all right spirit give me some insight please for this energy for secret code name cinnamon you might want to also look up the magical properties of cinnamon magic with a k <laughs> magical properties of cinnamon it'll help because every time you put that cinnamon on something or consume it you're going to remember the vibration it's offering you Nine of Swords, Three of Swords, Death, Temperance, and the Spirit of Swords. Really, all Swords and two Major Arcana. Nine of Swords is nightmare state over heartbreak. You might be super upset at the idea or having a lot of anxiety of the idea that someone's going to leave you or, lose, or you're going to lose them. Your ancestors are here with the raven on top. You might be so afraid that you would lose someone for being who you are that you put them in a financial position where you're stuck with them. <laughs> Only now they're unhappy and you're unhappy and it's all consumed by anxiety. Like, listen, the reason why they're unhappy is maybe because of the choices you were making and you can't be having anxiety and letting fear dictate your choices. Letting the mental nightmare that you're you're picturing in your mind, you know, if you have these negative images, these negative thoughts, these negative envisionments running in your mind, and you're afraid and you're making choices because you're afraid of this vision, you are absolutely creating what you're fearing to appear. You're really going to have to catch yourself and ground that energy and remind yourself, I don't have to be afraid. I don't have to be afraid. I don't have to be afraid. I don't have to put myself into a hole because I'm afraid to choose to change. Because I'm afraid that who I am is not good enough. Who taught you that? Was it your mother? Who taught you you weren't good enough? Where did you learn it from? Was it your father? Who taught you that? When you watched your parents interact with each other, did you watch your mother afraid that she was gonna lose your father? Did you watch your father upset that they were in a financial hole or they were having a hard time making ends meet and they couldn't make moves and he maybe couldn't get away from the toxic relationship? Who taught you? Because it's what you're recreating. The anxiety, the heartbreak, the loss. You gotta be able to transform. You gotta be able to alchemize this, this part of yourself. You need to be able to balance your heart space and remember that love wins. If you're loving this person, appreciating this person, considering this person, you're being kind to this person, you're not being angry with this person or sharp with this person or afraid that you're gonna lose this person because you're just simply loving them with the best of yourself. You're not gonna lose them because they're gonna love the best you. They're not gonna, they don't, appreciate this this toxic negative anxiety ridden fear of heartbreak fear of pain person that has to transform you have to be able to manifest better scorpionic energy sagittarian energy aquarian energy The spirit of swords, they think logically. They're reasonable. They think logically. If they're a logical thinker and you put them in a position where things are not what they want them to be, they're logically going to say, this doesn't work for me. This is not what I want. This person is creating a reality that I don't want. They're logical. This does not work. So you have to make it so that it works. You have to be the part of yourself that fucking works. <laughs> Allow yourself to be balanced. Get out of your shadowy fear state. Because I, I feel like that is way overwhelming. Because you can portray otherwise. 
but the internal state of being is the internal state of being. And maybe you can lie to everybody else with the facade, but you can't lie to yourself. And if you're a nightmare inside and you're afraid of being heartbroken inside, or the reality is breaking your heart inside that you're witnessing, because this could definitely be all energy that you're witnessing. But if you're witnessing it, is it not mirroring back to you in your reality in some way? You're having anxiety and you're heartbroken over the person that you are. Having anxiety that who you are is not good enough. Your higher self is heartbroken because you're in this lower state where you need to ground and you need to choose a better path. You need to get this toxic negative energy out, give it to the earth, let the earth heal it, like start there. Tell yourself you're going to be better. Tell yourself you're going to start making more balanced choices. Tell yourself you're going to be the best version of yourself so that whoever is in your life that you really don't want to lose, who you would be heartbroken over, doesn't actually want to leave because you make sense being in their life. You have to make sense for whoever the spirit of swords, king of swords is. It has to make sense. If all that you're doing does not make sense to them, they're going to start asking themselves what they're doing with you, right? It doesn't make sense to them why you're behaving the way you behave. Maybe they feel like they're worthy of love. Maybe you're keeping it from them. Maybe they don't feel like they deserve sharp words, but that's what you're giving to them. It doesn't make sense to them. They feel deserving. They feel like what they're putting forth and what they're bringing into your life is fucking worth it. Anybody else would be happy to have what they're what they're giving to you. And here and maybe you're being sharp and you're stinging with your words. You're like I don't deserve it. This doesn't make sense. And you're dealing with a logical person. And you've got to be in, you've got to recognize that energy. You've got to recognize the energy that being in fear state and being in pain internally does not make sense, especially when you have someone in your reality who has chosen to stay with you as long as they have and created roots with you. You've got to get yourself back in balance. You've got to get back in touch with your better nature and the higher vision that you want to create, the positive vision that you want to create, and start believing in that and acting on that. Because if you lose sight of the great vision and you stop believing in it, it's lost. It can't get created if you lose it here. It can't come into manifestation. It can't, be, it can't come into form if you've lost the ability to visualize it there. You, you need to choose better. Like no one's forcing you and telling you to be different. You need to choose it for yourself. And if somebody is asking you to please do better or treat them better and you're defiant, you got to tell yourself you're not doing it for them. Just because they asked you, you're doing it for you. You got to do this for you. What's the guidance card, please, spirit? Secret code name, Cinnamon. Like if you've got debt, start figuring out ways to help them get rid of the debt, especially if you created it. Figure out a way to help them so that it makes sense for them. Makes sense. You created the debt, you're getting rid of the debt. That makes sense to them. Great. <laughs> what you want wants you. Whatever dream you really want, whoever this king of swords is, they want it too. They want the same dream. What you want wants you. What you want to create, your best dream, wants to be created. You got to let yourself receive it. You got to spiral back around your own self. You got to allow spirit to come down to you and embody that energy. Like, I got your back. Don't worry about it. Take the steps. We'll figure it out. We'll fix it. Nothing is beyond repair. Nothing is beyond repair. Let your angels talk to you. Let your higher self guide you. It's okay. Yes, you've got debt. Fine. We're going to get rid of it together. That's going to be our focus. That's going to be our priority. We're going to get stable. We're going to be practical. We're going to stop overspending. If we don't need to spend on this, we won't. 
If we can save money this way, we will. Is that necessary or unnecessary right now if you're in a, in a, in a place where you're trying to save? What you want wants you. Let's read some. I feel like we need to read some. It says, do you dare to believe that what you want is also wanting you? The genuine desires of your heart are the sacred purpose of the soul swathed in pleasure. Yet, if you have been shamed, judged for, made to feel guilt over, or denied your natural desires or pleasures in any way, you may have developed a very tricky and complicated relationship with the yearnings of your heart. We often learn to distrust our own desires and come to believe that they are something to be overcome or avoided. We may even try to want second best, believing that we are worthy, that we are worthy, disbelieving, disbelieving that we are worthy of our first choice of what we really genuinely want and would fulfill us deeply. Perhaps we have conditioned ourselves to believe that getting what we want is for others and not us. Who taught you that? Who taught you it was okay to settle? Who taught you it was okay to settle for your second best vision? Who taught you to disbelieve in your worthiness of your first choice? Who did you witness and experience that you learned that? You need to choose a different path. This oracle comes with a healing message for you. First, trust in what you truly want. Not the substitutions and make-dos, but what would truly bring a sense of passionate, playful purpose and fulfillment to your life. You might not know anything more than I want to sing or I want to write or I want to help this person or this situation. I want to paint. Start with what you know and hold it in your heart as you do your healing process. If you genuinely do not know what your heart wants, what do you envision? You will very much enjoy the process of exploring your desires by making gentle and persistent inquiries of yourself. Ask yourself what it is that truly moves you and give this matter consistent attention. Don't ignore your greatest vision. Don't put your greatest vision second to your nightmare. Don't let your nightmare stand in the forefront of your mind and be all consuming because you will never create your vision, your best vision, if it's second, if it's not what you're focusing on. What you want wants you. If you're with a partner who you want to be happy with and you want them to be happy with you, they also want you to be their partner and be happy with you and have you happy with them. Be happy with them. Approve of them. Give them your approval. If you can offer approval to someone else, you can receive approval back. You love and approve of them and all that they do, they will start to love and approve of you and all that you do. If you are confused, they are confused. Trust me, if you're treating them with detachment, they're going to start treating you with detachment. They're going to start blocking it, blocking you out. Let the anxiety go. Let the fear go. All right, what needs to be remembered? What needs to be remembered? Really, thank your lucky stars. This is how you unlock them. This is how you unlock your lucky fucking stars. It was literally just one, two, one, one, one on the clock from where I am. 11 to 11. Cooperation and humility. You got to cooperate with this person. You got to be humble. You got to humble yourself and release control. Really. Remember, in your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person and experience has value. They have, ding, they have value. 
They have value. Your life is what it is because of them. Humility. Remember, you have developed a loving awareness that you and everyone else are on the same but different paths. You might be two completely different people. That's fine. There's a reason why. They're pushing you to be stable and practical. They're pushing you and their differences from you. They're pushing you to be a better version of yourself through these lessons. Everything happens for a reason. Nothing is by coincidence. You want to manifest love, you got to realize that they hold their place as the person they are. Because if they weren't who they are, throwing back their mirror at you for you to see yourself, you're so disappointed in them. No, you're so disappointed in yourself. Not being in your highest, not being in your highest light. They disgust you, you're disgusted with yourself. That they're projecting a disgusted person at you or disgust worthy person at you. They're your mirror. You have to develop the loving awareness that you and everyone else are on the same but different paths. They're not meant to be like you. You're not meant to be like them. You're meant to complement each other. You're both different and you need to love and approve of each other. You need to work with each other to create something stable or it's all going to start falling apart. I think a part of you knows that, which is why you manifested this message. Because you can't lie to yourself anymore. You can't be insecure about your choices anymore. You can't question whether or not the choices you're making are going to leave you stable or not. Humility and cooperation. Start being the solution, not the problem. Start embodying the solution, not the problem. Your person, your mirror will do the same thing. They will start to embody their solution energy and they won't be your problem. They're your solution they are not your problem. You start viewing them like they are your solution. They will not be your problem. They are not your problem. They have solved your problems. Think about all the problems you would have if they were gone, right? It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. It's heartbreaking to think that they would go because they're the solution to your problems. Be the solution to theirs. Simple. Be practical, be stable, be grounded, be present for them. Whatever their problems are, be the solution. Trust me, you won't have to worry like this. I hope that helps. I hope that helps. That's our last secret code name. That wraps up all of the new moon and Aquarius readings. Guys, I hope they serve you in the highest. I hope they guide you in the highest. I hope they all unlock your lucky stars, no matter how many you resonated to. I am happy to serve you all. <laughs> I am happy to serve you all. Guys, love and light to everyone. Have a wonderful, wonderful lucky stars kind of day. Take care. Bye.